beloved in Christ, we have come together in the presence of God to renew our commitment to follow the way of Jesus Christ and to be bearers of that hope in the world. We gather with our bishops as in sacred synod they confirm the appointment of David as assistant bishop in the Diocese of Bangor. May God be gracious to us and bless us and may the light of God's countenance be upon us all. Amen. Amen.
Dyma'r gorchmynion y deddfau a'r cyfreithiau y gorchmynodd yr arglwydd eich diw eich dysgu i chwi yw cadw yn y wlad yr ydych yn mynd iddi i'w meddiannu. Er mwyn i chwi ofni'r arglwydd eich diw a chadw yr holl ddeddfau a gorchmynion y rwyf yn eich rhoi i chwi a'ch plant, a phlant eich plant, holl ddyddiau eich bywyd. Ac er mwyn estyn eich dyddiau. Gwrando o Israel a gofala eu cadw fel y bydd yn dda arnat ac y byddi'n cynyddu mewn gwlad yn llyfeirio o laeth a mel fel yr addawodd yr arglwydd diw dy hynafiaid. Gwrando o Israel y mae'r arglwydd ein diw yn un arglwydd. Car di yr arglwydd y ddiw a thollt galon a cath holl ennaid, a cath holl nerth. Y mae'r geiriau hyn y rwyf yn ei gorchymyn i ti heddiw i fod yn dy galon. Y rwyf ti'w hadrodd i'th blant, ac i sôn amdanynt pan byddi'n eistedd yn dy di, ac yn cerdded ar y ffordd, a phan byddi'n mynd i gysgu ac yn codi. Y rwyf ti'w chwymo yn arwydd ar dy lawn a byddant yn rhaktalau rhwng dy lygaid. Ysgrifenna hwy ar byst dy di ac ar dy byrth. Yna, bydd yr arglwydd y ddiw yn dod â thi i'r wlad a tyngodd i'th dadau, Abraham, Isaac a Jacob. A byddai'n ei rhoi i ti, gwlad o ddinasoedd mawr a theg, nad adeiladwyd mohonnit genet, Hefyd tai yn llawn o bethau daionis na ddarparwyd mohonynt gennyt. A phywedau na chloddwyd gennyt. A gwynllanoedd ac olewydd na phlanwyd gennyt. Pan fyddi'n bwyta ac yn cael dy ddigoni, gofala na fyddi di'n anghofio'r arglwydd dy ddiw, a ddaeth â thi allan o wlad yr aifft o di caeth i wed. Dyma ddiwedd y llith gyntaf.
letter of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 2. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses. And we were by nature children of wrath, like everyone else. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Not the result of works so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us. Created in Christ Jesus for good works. Which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Here ends the second lesson.
oedd i'w gwneith o sni i ti dy hun, a mae e'n calonau yn aflonydd, nes i ddyn gael ei gorffwysfa yn o ti. Speak to our restless hearts, O God, our Maker. Amen. Esteddwch, please be seated. It's such a privilege and an honour to be invited to preach on this great occasion for David and for the church in Wales. And it's a particular joy to be back in this wonderful cathedral where I had the privilege to be ordained deacon some years ago. One of the meanings of a sacred synod is a meeting with a purpose of dedication, of striving for holiness. Here in the Church in Wales, our sacred synod is where a new bishop's appointment is confirmed and authorised. And it seems really appropriate that tonight we do that, having just heard from the book of Deuteronomy, the call of all God's people to attend to that which is at the heart of our faith. Love God with all your being, the great commandment of God that's re-echoed for us by Jesus in the Gospels. The author of Deuteronomy reminds us, never forget, God has always loved you. That's a wonderful message for the church to tell the world. And it's a great message for David at the start of his new ministry. Bishops are those who have oversight of the church. They're called to lead God's people in the work of recalling God's goodness, God's faithful accompaniment of creation across the ages. And of our call to literally remember this to embody God's love for others, just exactly as Jesus did. Everything we do, everything we know, begins with love for people of faith, with the love of God. And all that brings life and hope in creation also begins with the God who is love. From the letter to the Ephesians, we heard more about God's love, which the author tells us is made manifest to us through the grace of God. We heard it is by grace that we are saved. Grace is the undeserved goodness of God, the love that comes to meet us just because it's given, simply because that is who and how God is. And the work of the church is to love God, to offer praise to God, to show the love of God in our worship, our choices, and the way that we love and show service to others. Scripture tells us we all have a part in this. Verse 10 of that passage from Ephesians says, we are what God has made us. Or in some translations, you read, we are part of God's work of art. That tells us we are all works in progress, all called to be wonderful reflections of godly, good and creative love. And that work is as important today as it ever was. And David has been called by the church to help lead and steer the church into helping everybody become God's works of art. <coughs> Originally from Khmer in the Ronda, first ordained as deacon in 2009, and someone with experience of serving across Wales, having ministered here in the glorious south and now in the beautiful north of Wales, as well as having an active and senior role with St John's Ambulance Cymru, David was once the youngest priest in our church, and now he's making history by becoming its youngest bishop. 
but he's not at all an inexperienced person in ministry. David has wide and rich experience. He's worked in different ministry areas and parishes, in urban and rural context, and he's done a great deal of work amongst those discerning their vocation and in accompanying those considering their calling. I think we have to congratulate David's family on his name. David's a great name for a man with a call to leadership. And isn't it a wonderful name for someone who seeks to follow the great saints of the church in Wales? But David's name is also affirmed by his actions. The Bible sets out many of the attributes of those called to godly leadership. And David's life and ministry bear strong witness to the presence of these in his work, in his relationship with Mark, his fiancé, and in his daily life of faith, which he lives out as a wise and cheerful priest and as a great friend to many. The New Testament tells us bishops should be hospitable, lovers of good, self-controlled, upright, holy and disciplined. Everyone who knows David will be aware of his warm and generous hospitality. There's a sheer kindness about him. You see this on his Facebook and Instagram postings, which are marked by kindness by the way in which they point to the goodness and the gifts of others, by their positivity and warmth. He's interested in how the church engages with young people, particularly through the sacramental tradition, understanding what Anglicans can learn from our older sister churches, as well as from contemporary traditions. David's ability to accompany others through the joys and sorrows of their life, bears tribute to his commitment to excellent pastoral ministry. He's used to dealing with tough stuff and holding this in a trustful way, protecting the dignity of others. He shows a tenacity that's able to stick with others through hard times, as well as the joy that are the marks of a life rooted in God's love. His choice of the place linked to his title as Escob Entley, Bishop of Bardsey, speaks so well of a desire for connection with the saints, of engagement with our Welsh heritage, and with a commitment to the journey of life, with all its beauty and all its rugged challenges. He's someone who works with others and who also knows his own need of God. At a recent meeting of the bishops, David led us in a really moving time of prayer of healing, helping us to connect with the pain and hope that our faith holds together. He has a deep sense of kindness, which I myself have experienced and a mischievous sense of humour, a wonderful way of addressing important issues with a lightness of touch that's inviting and trust-building. These are the gifts that can help us in the work of understanding more fully how, as God's work of art, we are our most beautiful when we are our most fully human. In other words, when we are most like Christ, the one we seek to serve. This evening we pray that David and we together may be beautiful signs of God's grace and God's love. Amen.
In the name of Christ and in the power of the Spirit, let us pray to our Father. Gwedhiun, let us pray. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself and our hearts indeed are restless until they find their rest in you. We pray this evening for your servant David, that you will uphold him so that he might uplift you. Give him new gifts of grace, to be shepherd, to be prophet, to be pastor, and usher us all into a deeper love for you, that we may become treasures of art, speaking of his grace in this your world. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. We give you thanks for this cathedral, for its history and its vibrant life. Father, as you have called many to serve you, we pray for the deepening of fellowship, for the strengthening of ties within this community for the work of Dean and Chapter, and for Bishop Cherry. Giver of good gifts, we give you thanks for those who give their time and their energy to serve you. Bless them in their ministry. And may this place become evermore a light upon a hill for the glory of Christ. Lord, hear us. We pray to you for this, your world, where there is so much trouble and strife, where there is war. We pray that as you have said, you will cast down the mighty from their seat and exalt the humble and meek. That where there is pride and where there is rebellion, that people will be brought to a place of humility. Uphold the dignity of the poor. And may we, as a nation, learn what it is to follow in the footsteps of Christ, embracing and reflecting the values of the kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Christ himself has taught us to call God our Father in the language of our own choosing. We boldly pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hosa Llyog Ddiw, a rofais di unig fab i'n un aberth dros bechod, ac yn y siampl o ddichedd diwiol, dyro i ni y ras, fel y gallwn byth dderbyn yn y ddiolchgar, o'i lesad a'n rheithol hwnnw, a hefyd ym rhoi beunydd i ganlyn llwy brai bendigedig a'i lana fichedef, trwy yr un i ysi gris dein hargdwydd. Amen. Almighty God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments and that being defended by thee from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Golia, eina tywyllwch a tywlygwn i ti o arglwydd, ac oth fawr drygarydd am ddiffinu rhag pob perygl ac yn bydrwydd yn ôs hon, trwy gariad dy unig fab, Ein gweredwr Iesu Grist. Amen. Amen.
us with our power, welcome everyone to this sacred synod. My cyfan soddi ar eglwys yng Nghymru yn darparu y caiff esgob esgobaethol benodi esgob cynorthwyol i'w cynorthwyo gyda'i dyletswyddau esgobol yn yr esgobaeth. Os nad yw'n person a enwebwyd fel esgob cynorthwyol eto mewn urddau esgobol, mae'n ofynol i esgobion esgobaethol yr eglwys yng Nghymru ymgynnull yn synod i ystyried cymhwysedd ac addasrwydd y clerig enwebedig i ymgymryd a swydd esgobol. Felly, ymgasglu'r esgobion yr eglwys yng Nghymru yn synod sanctaidd heno i ystyried penodiad arfaithedig y parchedig ganon David Thomas Morris yn esgob cynorthwyol yn esgobaeth Bangor. My first questions are addressed to the Archbishop's Registrar. Have notices advertising this meeting been displayed at our Cathedral and Metropolitical Church of St. Daniel Bangor, at this Cathedral Church of St. Willis, Newport, and on the website of the Church in Wales, so that all members of the Church in Wales who wish to be present at these proceedings and, if necessary, to make representations to the Synod regarding the eligibility or fitness of the candidate to assume a Episcopal office may be here. They have. Do you confirm that the procedures for the nomination of the Reverend Canon David Thomas Morris as Assistant Bishop in the Diocese of Bangor have been carried out in accordance with the requirements of the Constitution of the Church in Wales? I do so confirm. Thank you. We must now be assured publicly that the candidate fulfils the requirements of the canon law of the Church in Wales to assume the office and ministry of a bishop. I cross. My genie but on Radez on Zangos will proctor the Tabodi on Hin. A bright genie, genie who could learn Uichi, a parhidi gan on David Thomas Morris. Yr oedd yn falch o'ch sicrhau a'i fod wedi darparu'r dogfennau gofynol i ddangos a'i fod o oedran cynonaeth wedi cael eu bedyddio ac wedi derbyn confirmasiwn ac wedi a'i ordeinio'n briodol ac yn gyfreithlon i urddau cysegredig daecon ac o ffeiriad yn eglwys ddiw. Trwy hyn, yr oedd yn cyflwyno'r holl dysgrifiau a dogfennau angen reidiol a chopiau o honent wedi eu hardistio'n briodol. Fel y proctor a benodwyd yn briodol at y diben hwn, rwy'n cymryd dwy'r farchedig ganon David Thomas Morris i chi, ac yn eich wachodd chi ac chi dysgobion i gymryd dwy'r ein webiad fel esgob cynorthwyol yn esgobaeth Bangor. Diolch. I invite anyone having objection in respect of the eligibility or fitness of the Reverend Canon David Thomas Morris to serve as a bishop in the Church in Wales to make that objection known now. I am pleased to announce that the bishops of the Church in Wales have satisfied themselves as to the fitness of the Reverend Canon David Thomas Morris to be appointed as an assistant bishop in the Diocese of Bangor and hereby declare him to be the assistant bishop designate for that diocese. In accordance with section 15, paragraph 7 of chapter 5 of the Constitution of the Church in Wales, the bench of bishops will assign the titular see of Bardsey to Canon Morris upon his consecration. I now invite my fellow bishops to attach with me their signatures to the Synodical Act in the presence of the Archbishop's Deputy Registrar, 
a notary public for ecclesiastical purposes. <laughs> Cyflwynadd hyn fel fynogfen am gweithred. Cyfrinaf hyn fel fynogfen am gwaithred. Cyfrinaf hyn fel fynogfen am gwaithred. This is my act and deed. To blow in that hen fell the knock then and wait for it. To Andrew by Divine Providence, Archbishop of Wales, the Synod of Bishops of the Province of Wales, sends greeting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whereas we, the diocesan bishops of the Province of Wales, assembled in the Cathedral Church of St. Willos, Newport, are assured and satisfied that the procedure followed in the nomination of the Reverend Canon David Thomas Morris as an assistant bishop in the Diocese of Bangor was in accordance with Chapter 5 of the Constitution of the Church in Wales and its associated regulations. And whereas we are assured and satisfied in accordance with the constitution of the Church in Wales, of the fit said David Thomas Morris to be consecrated to the sacred episcopate. And whereas we find after due and proper examination that there are no canonical impediments to the consecration of the said David Thomas Morris. Now therefore we do hereby request you as Archbishop of Wales and Metropolitan, to call other bishops to your assistance and to ordain and consecrate the said David Thomas Morris to the sacred episcopate as Bishop of Bardsey, a titular see assigned by us, pursuant to section 15, bracket 7, of chapter 5 of the Constitution of the Church in Wales, in testimony whereof we have hereunto set our hands to this our act and deed, this 17th day of April, in the year of our Lord, 2024.
In accordance with our constitution, I now invite the Assistant Bishop Designate formally to accept this appointment and to make the declarations required of them by the law of the Church in Wales. I, David Thomas Morris, do solemnly declare my belief in the faith which is revealed in the Holy Scriptures and set forth in the Catholic creeds, and to which the historic formularies, namely the 39 Articles of Religion, the Book of Common Prayer, and the ordering of bishops, priests, and deacons, as published in 1662, bear witness. And in public prayer and administration of the sacraments, I will use only the forms of service which are allowed by lawful authority, and none other. Roy V. David Thomas Morris, a the Wissoid and Escob Entli, Escob Canathoyol and Escob Eith Bangor, and Professi Ac an Addo Pob Parch, Ac I Vithdod de Ledis, Yacheskob Cymru, Ac Iwal Anwyr, Canathoyod Du V. Troy Yesi Grist. I, David Thomas Morris, do solemnly declare that I consent to be bound by and will submit to the Constitution of the Church in Wales and will accept, submit to and carry out any sentence or judgment which may at any time be passed upon me by the Archbishop or any tribunal or courts of the Church in Wales. I am delighted to confirm that the Reverend Canon David Thomas Morris will be consecrated to the Sacred Episcopate as Bishop of Bardsey in our Cathedral and Metropolitical Church of St. Daniel Bangor on Saturday the 11th of May 2024. Would you like to greet and welcome the Bishop Designate? as we ask God's blessing upon David. May God, the Father who has called us to be ministers and priests for him in the church, grant you his strength and power. But there did you a mab, ein harchoferiad maur, roi ei dangnefedd ei gariad iti. May God, the Holy Spirit, light and life of the faithful, grant you his inspiration and wisdom and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.
yr arloedd a fow gyda chi. A hefyd gyda chi. Arloedd. I ddiw i'r hor diolch. Lord bless you and keep watch over you. You and be gracious to you. The Lord look lovingly on you and give you peace. Abenus you, Otlachliog, a tar a mab a respiritla, a vo in a fleece a cadrigo, a dachui, a wasta. Amen.